Hello and welcome City to Zen. another edition of City Zen. Today I'm going to be repairing this SX64 that my awesome wife got for me for my birthday. City Zen. So I'm going to begin by taking this thing apart. So here we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the let me get to this user port in here. So we have to cut a trace. Because the factory made an error when they were building these over there. Now I can take these screws off. There's three of them. And I'm gonna show you a video where I learned how to do this. In the, in the description but we're just gonna go ahead and do this first and then replace the SID chip and get the old sound working on this thing and for that I've got the back bit SID oh, so this should come off uh, yep there it is there's a good article on sx-64.de that explains this fix. Yeah, see that's not supposed to happen. So we need to cut that trace. We'll cut it until it's not connected anymore. Let's try it again. Okay, it looks like it's looks like it's severed. Yeah. Yep. We're good to go. So this part is done. I will no longer have to worry about the user port blowing up my things. I'll set that to the side for now. Now we're going to look at replacing the SID. And for that, I've got the this back bit, back bit SID. And there's some information about it. And of course, I'll link it in the description where I got it. Tell them deadline sent you. I don't know what it'll get you, but just tell them. So, we are very lucky because the SID is right there, very accessible. So let's just sort of ease that out with a flat head. That way we don't have to take everything apart. Just going to ease it out very easily. Touch any of these other components or leverage up on those because they're gonna get damaged now. Well, they don't want that to happen. Okay, there, there's the SID. This is the bad one. It's not producing any sound. We'll set this aside. Again, this is the back sid from back bit. And I don't know if you can read it or not, but it's got instructions on where to download 
the software that you can run on here and it'll let you configure this chip through the Commodore 64 interface. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so hopefully we can just snap this in there without issue. And luckily it's got sort of a socket in there that uh yeah, there. It just popped right in. And we're done. Alright. Next thing is to put this back together and do a test. Okay, so I have now got my 1571 in here. I think that the alignment on this 1571 might be out of whack. But anyway, it's device 11. So let's do a directory list and device 11. There we go. What we got? List. Yep, the back SID program is on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. You turn down the contrast on this monitor. Okay, we can see that a little better on the camera. Let's go ahead and load the back SID program, comma 11. It's on device 11. What? Oh, I didn't mean, space it. No. There we go. It's loading. Very good. So far, so good. Everything seems to be in order after the. Uh, the 9 volt repair on the user port and the SID, the back SID install. Cross your fingers, everybody. It's 96 blocks, so it'll take a minute to load. I can't wait to hear this thing actually make some noise. Let's see if the volume's going up. Can't tell. Man, that volume switch is hard to. Okay. It is ready. Let's run it. Hey, that's good. We are ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, let's see what it is. Okay, there we go. That's a little better than me. It's time to go back. That's it. Overdrive filters, smoothing pots, upgrade firmware. Okay. Hey, so so we are now at 2.2.3 of upgrading the firmware, and that was the first noise that it made. So let's see, 8580 filters. All right, so. Let's load a program and see if we can't get this thing going. So there she is. All put back together. I got some 3D printed little circle things to put on the side. We're gonna take her for one last spin before we end this video.
So there you have it folks, the SX64 is repaired and 100% fully operational and I'm finally going to be able to make that video of the SX64 that I've always wanted to make. Wait, isn't this an SX64 video? Well, yeah, but a different video. I'd like to say thank you to our patrons, you really, uh, means a lot to us if you want to become a patron and have your name flashed on the screen here then please go over to patreon.com slash cities in give us a little donation to our channel that way it'll help us get uh, some better recording equipment anyway check us out next time cities in thank you very much Oh, and I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to my lovely wife, Chimera, who got this SX64 for me. 
I love you. If you're watching this, thank you. I'd say she's a keeper. Thank you for your input, Clicky. Thanks for watching. City Lab. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new programming series. And be sure to check out all the other vintage computer related videos on our channel. Right here on City's End.